Tom Gallagher, the videopreneur, and in this video, just giving you an update on the uh, floorboard on the driver's side. So this is my 1961 Chevy C10. It's an Apache, and um, I didn't know much about rust. Luckily, I've got a, a friend, Lynn, who is very particular about rust, wants to get rid of all of it, and so in this video, he is cutting out the rust in the driver's side floorboard and it's one of those things that um in my opinion when you start it's it's uh, probably like cancer you've got to get it all out and get it cleaned up and so this video is sped up four times uh four four times four uh, x the speed and so lynn is is cutting out all the damaged area and then uh in another video i'll show you him welding it in but he's very particular about what he's doing what he's cutting and uh, just trying to to ascertain exactly what uh, you know what damage is there what needs to come out and then also how to rebuild it and brace it and to make it look like it was factory and not all hacked up so here you can see he's using the cutoff wheel and just cutting out the floorboard and it's it's a uh, kind of boring video probably but i want to show it mainly this is i want to document the whole process of this uh rebuild and again the outside we're going to leave patina the uh inside of the cab is going to be restored uh to a really nice detail and so it's going to be a nice daily driver uh with an ls motor that i can just drive the crap out of it take it to car shows take it on trips take it wherever i want and uh, feel comfortable, feel confident in the, the truck. And uh, so in this, you can see that strip, there's a brace that runs down the center. And so Lynn is cutting on both sides of the brace to take out the pieces on both sides. And then he has to, uh, here you can see the brace. And so now he's got to uh, knock that top layer out. Uh, it's, it's uh, welded in and uh, so he's using a cutter this this cutting bar here and just taking a hammer and splitting the, the welds so in this part of the video he's cutting the the uh, kick panel and where the kick panel meets the floorboard I guess over the years water sat there and rusted out and so he's cutting that out <laughs> 